want to tell you something big time. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hey, big time. Yeah, yeah, you right there. Hey, big time. <laughs> I kind of like that. Calling the audience yeah, That's big right, time. exactly. We got a great show for you tonight, a lovely, a lovely woman and uh, quite an actress and one of the stars of a brand new film which opens... <laughs> Steve, uh, first of all, happy holidays, and my Same gosh, you. thank you, thank you very much for dropping by. It's great to see you. It's great to be here. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it's funny that you're here tonight because uh, tomorrow night you're a guest on the show. <laughs> but I'm happy to see you tonight. But tomorrow, tomorrow? yeah. <laughs> What's today? Today is Thursday, November 30th. Oh my God, I'm supposed to be at the White House. That odd? Steve Martin, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see Our first guest tonight possesses one of the great minds in all of comedy. He has uh, written a play called Picasso at the Lapin Agile. And it's at the Promenade Theater here in New York City. And he has a brand new film. It's Father of the Bride, Part Du. It opens December 8th. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a good friend of ours, Steve Martin. Steve. I don't know. I'm you're the man, buddy. I'm either yes, nervous sir. or cold. I don't yeah. know which one. You're the man. You walk out here, the crowd goes crazy. It must make you feel terrific. And I can't, you know, I can't really thank you enough. Whenever you're on the show, it's a special day for me and everybody here on the staff. Well, thanks. You know, I can say that that really does uh, warm me because, uh, I mean, let's say, let's put it this way, this is the only thing I really get out of this show is uh, <laughs> you know, I get Wait some... A I get, uh, I get warmth from the audience, yeah. and I think the band really, really likes me. I think they play their best when I'm on. I think the world of you. I think the world of you. you yeah, well, like right, it. sure. But, uh... No, wait a minute. What's the matter? You, you don't need to be snotty with no, me. No, exactly. I'm, What's no, the I'm, I'm happy to be here. Well, what's the problem? I mean, you, you, you welcome me, and you did a very, very nice intro, which Thank obviously you. was phony. No! And... <laughs> what? Well, uh, look, I was sit sitting backstage thumbing through the top ten. How did you get one of those? Lists. <laughs> you got to pay for years. I'm sorry. And uh, <laughs> it was hard chasing you down the street with the cart. <laughs> um, and I'm thumbing through them. I'm, I'm laughing. And then, and then I find a couple that, well, they re refer to me. Oh, well, that's possible. And you I may have that, been in there. Yeah, but I, I thought they were kind of uh, insulting. No. Well, I don't know. Let me just... Let me just uh, pick a couple out here and just uh, All right. and see. Maybe I'm paranoid. I don't know. Uh, for example, this one. Uh, top ten killer bee pet peeves. Oh, yeah. Well, that'd be good. Number six. Faint aftertaste of spoiled egg salad when you sting Steve Martin. Ooh. I, it's, wow. uh, you know, it's just a joke. It's only a Jeez. joke. I don't know. I, the audience doesn't seem to think so. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own. Or this one. <laughs> oh, I, I knew that. <laughs> uh, even the band is now deserting. <laughs> Top ten signs you're on a bad cruise. Yeah. Number one, only entertainment, Steve Martin. <laughs> <laughs> These... <laughs> These... Uh, what about... 
Top 10 signs you're at a bad play. Yeah. Number four. Program contains the phrase by Steve Martin. No. <laughs> no. And then I'm thinking, you know, yeah, well, maybe I'm just. Oh, how about this one? Top 10 things Christopher Columbus would say if he landed in America today. That's good. Number three. Is there something I'm not getting about Steve Martin? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I thought, well, maybe, maybe I'm just, you know, I'm nervous about coming on. And, and then I find this one, top 10 reasons Steve Martin sucks. Oh, yeah. But holy, that's a whole like list. Like number four, thinks crack is groovy. No, that's no. <laughs> or number one, all that lovely white hair, baby seal fur. I don't think that these are complimentary. <laughs> It's, it certainly is a compliment. We wanted to include yeah. you in the collection, and, and I'm, I hope you take it in the right spirit. Well, I'm getting paid for the show, and that's the way I'm looking at it. All right. <laughs> now, wait. Say, we tell them we made this up? They seem awkward. We should. Yeah. I mean, we should tell them. This, this was not actually in They're not really in the book. No, we made them up. But they'll be in the next book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, things are yeah. going very well for you now. Yes, you have they are. two plays in production. You have a, Couldn't another, afford a tie, though. Another, <laughs> Couldn't get one. Another film coming out, Father yeah, of the Bride. Father of the Bride, part Many, two. many other things. Yeah. Let us do a commercial here, oh. and we'll continue visiting with our good, good friend, okay. Steve Martin, right after you live it Steve Martin is here, Kenneth Branau, and Goo Goo Dolls. Let me uh, ask you about uh, one of the plays currently in production here. Did okay. I get the name, the French, anywhere close? La Pain à Gilles? No. It's, uh, I, I can't really say it either, even though I wrote it. Uh -huh. it's, uh, I, I say it as La Pain à Gilles. What did I say? You, you said La Pain. La Pain à Gilles. But it's one word. It's not La Pain, it's La Pain. La Pain. But I like to make it sound more Frenchy. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you were very far off. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But it means, now, do I have the translation correct? It means the Agile Bunny. Uh, yes, and it's, uh, it's a bar in Paris that actually exists. Mm -hmm. And I wrote a play about a fictional meeting between Picasso and Einstein in 1904 when they were just young men. And it's a great idea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, get rid of this. I'm happy now. <laughs> One little compliment. Is, oh. is this oh. your, uh, your, first, your first, first play? Uh, that was my first play. I have uh, other plays opening in a couple of weeks downtown mm -hmm. at the Public Theater called Wasp. Yeah. And, um, and it's uh, going really well. How do people respond to these plays? How do their reviews? What do people say to you about writing a, a play? Something. Oh, I've gotten a lot of good comments. Uh, well, first of all, you know, there's a new word in the English language. Um, that word is great. And <laughs> what, what, what that is is people start to say anything, a movie, a play, they say, Hey, I saw your movie, and they start to say it was really good, but uh -huh. in the middle of it, they decide that's not strong enough, right. and they have to go to great. So they go, it's really great. <laughs> uh, you hear it a lot. I've had comments like, uh, said, when, when it says, you know, they see the play, and then they don't believe I wrote it, and they say, uh, when it says you wrote the play, does that mean you wrote every word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's silly. There's other, uh, yeah. There's other things people say, but they're not really that interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, we saw this. Somebody, I believe, sent this to us. This is from, uh, we think, Taiwan. And this looks like an advertisement for something called Handsome Up. And it, it appears to be a pneumatic pump device. We're not certain exactly what the application is. <laughs> Nonetheless, there you are, right there, as the this spokesman is. for Handsome Up. It's amazing. It's a, I, I saw this earlier. I had no idea it existed. It's an ad for a penis enlargement vacuum. Whoa! I mean, and, you know, who do you sue? I mean, who do you... <laughs> what do you, what do you I mean, mean, sue? Where do you order? Now, when Father the Bride 2 opens in China, they're going, wait, die from penis enlargement ad. What? <laughs> You are sitting on a gold mine know, here, boy, buddy. A... I mean, how can they do it? I, you know, I don't know. Like, who should we use? How about Steve? <laughs> he will never find out. 
Uh, well, buddy, we just found out. You, you mentioned uh, Father of the Bride, too. Father of the Bride, the, the original, uh, yes. a huge hit, and uh, this is obviously the sequel. Yeah, do you have a... I think people know the story, don't they, roughly, of the sequel? Of what? Of, of the, the sequel? sequel, yeah. Why should they? Good point. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. the story is, is that the young, my daughter gets yeah. pregnant by her husband, and I had to throw that in to qualify in these modern times, and, um, <laughs> and I'm feeling very nervous, and I start to... Uh, because I'm going to be a grandfather, yeah. so I start to feel old. So I go to the gym and I dye my hair and and have sex with Diane Keaton on the kitchen floor. Diane Keaton plays your wife, of course. No, I'm just talking about Diane Keaton. Whoa! Look out! <laughs> no, no, apparently see, no. this thing I, really yeah. gets your money's worth out of this boy. Well, knock yourself no, out. I mean, I know. Diane Keaton, who plays my wife exactly. in the movie. Yeah. I, I have. Theoretically, have sex with her. So it's, an, it's another landmark in your life, a midlife crisis. Your yes. married daughter yes. now having and a grandchild. And I uh, brought a clip, and Great. I feel that, uh, you know, in, in, in TV, the, the, the audience gets to see only a, a video clip that's so far away from right. the monitors. I think it's so unfair. And what I've started to do is carry my own projector around with me so they can actually see the quality of the film. And sometimes, you know, you're walking down the street and people say, Steve, you know, do you have a clip with you? I'd love to see it. And there's no, no place that's not good to promote. And I like to have the projector with me. I brought it with me tonight. Oh, you, you have it here tonight? Yeah, I'd like to bring it. Show you a clip. This is uh oh thanks. No, right? Odd, isn't it odd? This is uh yeah, my right. own little home projector. All right, this is uh couple And this of is a clip from, from uh, Father the Bride 2. We got Father the screen. Father the Bride 2. There okay. we go, ready to roll. Go. There we go. Start. Good. Yeah. Not working. Not working. Oh, off. On. Off, on. This is not made by the handsome up people, is it? Okay. <laughs> we got a problem. Okay, so we don't have the clip. You want to work on it? You know, this would be a As great time to ad lib, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm, yeah. yeah. Sure, it would, but, but yeah. I'm nearly off for if the only weekend. there were two top comedians <laughs> on the air. <laughs> be a Westinghouse. Yeah. Hey, there you go. That's something. Guess I don't know. Guess what? We have time to do those bits we thought were too weak to do. <laughs> we're no. we're going to pause now. Here we go. Uh, Dave. Uh, Dave. Uh, is, is it rolling? All right. Okay, here we Here's go. Here's the clip. Oh, look at that. That's younger. great. Younger. Oh, oh, See boy. the quality? Yeah, this is just like being in a theater. Oh, yeah. Come here, Dave. All right. I want to look younger. And I think maybe something Now watch, watch this, how my hand goes here. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Is that clever? Wow. Yeah. She's very, very good. Now watch my toe. Yeah. This way. The hand going like good. this. Yeah. Yeah. The feet. Wow. Hand. Yeah. Your shadow. I'm that sorry. Is that, no, that's in the film. My shadow is actually, yeah, in, actually the film. in the film. Now watch. There's a very funny bit. Now listen. Now watch this. Hair right. dies. Now listen. Yeah, there okay. You go. Man, that's something. That's great. Very nice. nice. I'm glad it works. Yeah. We'll be right back here with Steve Martin kids. This portion of the program tonight brought to you by Handsome Up Projectors and Power Pumps. <laughs> you know, Steve, I, uh, I'm so happy when you come to visit us. The only thing that troubles me is it seems to me there's a long period of time between each visit. I know you're busy on other yes. projects, but I want to ask you no, to not. come back more often. Oh, of course you're very busy. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's very difficult to do the show because of the amount of preparation that goes into it, right. the rehearsal time, and it's emotional. And, and it's uh, interesting because people laugh. I don't think that they understand no, they what don't. the... Uh, process is really and especially for you you're a man who likes to make sure every last little detail is nailed down perfectly and finished off properly well so are you well sure <laughs> so we we thought it might be an interesting idea and a great opportunity to give you folks at home an inside glimpse into that process so when steve came to the theater oh, it was a couple of months ago right. to prepare for this yep. visit here tonight <laughs> We, we videotaped that in a little documentary for you. So watch now as Steve and I get ready for tonight's appearance. I didn't know what to expect when I arrived. I uh, hadn't seen Dave in many years. And hey, Dave, I hadn't done the show in a Good long time. Nice I was nervous. You. Thank you. I thought Steve uh, looked uh, pale, kind of. That could have been makeup. But there was also 
I don't know, he looked tired. You look terrific. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> Frankly, I thought he looked like a duck. You look nothing like a duck. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. So we just went right to work. <laughs> Give it to me again. Okay. 98.6. Is that your body temperature or your IQ? <laughs> <laughs> the laugh um, was just not there. I didn't think it was there. I thought it was all right. And then it's just a slip in like this. That seems good. Perfect. Yeah, that seems good. Well, sitting down in the chair at that first moment, that's when the audience uh, really is judging you, judging you, judging you. Okay, good. I thought he looked like a girl. So now I'm asking myself, uh, how much room is there in the chair? Right. Uh, it's going to be uh, loose, tight. Uh, I had no idea. Right. The chair is actually 26 inches. Do you mind right. just measure me for yeah. a second? My ass is 15 inches. Yeah, 15 inches, right on the money. So you just say, and then you know they they, they said we loved it. <laughs> That's right. So no. Just something. No. no. Just grab it. Just take the cup. The grab. I wanted to be able to reach for the glass and get it effortlessly. And that's when things started to break down. For some reason, uh, it was beyond him. It, it really started to make me angry because I thought, what is, is this some kind of personal insult? Is it not like me? Is it some statement about the show? Ultimately, it just it made me sick. Sure, uh, when I'm sitting in the chair and I'm getting it right and he's loving it, I'm a hero. But now I get the feeling, uh, what have you done for me lately? And I just, I didn't want to be there. The cup, the handle Look, was not out. Like this, just like that. Now, come on. I think I've said enough about the drinking. <laughs> okay, so I just come up here. A funny trip thing. I had an idea for a wacky Pratt fall, a uh, little funny entrance thing that I'd actually seen uh, Gordon Elliott do on his show, and I thought it was hilarious, and I wanted to do it. But the tension was there. Is this too high? To the, pla do? the platform is too high! Lower it! Lower the platform! Things were getting crazy. <laughs> and Dave, uh, I haven't really talked money yet. Right. After that, uh, things got horribly, horribly ugly, and it was just a thing about money. Really, and what Steve would thank you, Carlotta. What Steve would get paid to do the show? Four ninety. Five twenty. Four hundred and ninety dollars. Five twenty. Four nine zero. Five twenty. Next thing you know, the production, the whole thing comes to a complete halt. Complete halt. Because Dave and Steve aren't talking. <laughs> In fact, uh, Steve's stunt double and my stunt double also, we're not talking to each other. Maybe it's that time. You know, I think, I believe Dave slept with my wife. It never happened. It never could have happened, nor is this the kind of thing I would have done. Absolutely not. I, uh, I don't even know that they know each other. It's just something I've carried around with me, really for no reason. Okay, I nailed her. Cut. Because it is my show, it was my responsibility to hold out, to offer to him an olive branch just for the sake of the work. I took <laughs> that cracker and cheese and swallowed them along with our problems. Idiots. And the tension just lifted. It yes. was gone. It, it was amazing. It was like it was never there. Yeah. And um, I got the drink. Yeah, the nailed drink. That. Perfect. That was very yes. nice. How did you feel about the laugh? I like the laugh a lot. I think I we got it, it like three times. We got it right. No, no, I good. loved it. Yeah, it but your setup, perfect. it was so beautiful. You, no, it. you had it. You, hit it. you, you hit were it for me. perfect. And, and the this money. This is like tennis. You can't play alone. The money. 520. 490. Okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah. I'll do it for 520. How about 490? Done. Right. The magic was back. Steve and Dave were back. I knew I was ready. He was ready to be a guest. I can't thank you enough again. Steve Martin, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck with the film, Steve. Happy holidays.
have a delightful holiday program for you. We're going to do us a commercial, and we'll continue in a couple of moments. Good to have you with us. My Christmas wish is that everyone buys my unisex cologne. Gee, you smell like Steve. Our first guest is an old friend of ours and uh, certainly one of the funniest men we know. He has written a uh, brand new book right here. It's called Pure Drivel, and it's in stores right now. Do me a favor. Please welcome the always entertaining Steve Martin. Steve <laughs> Boy, that's a great way to kill time. Nah. It's a great ovation for a great guy. You deserve hey, it. Thanks. You said I was a here. friend of the show, an old friend of the show. Well, I like to think you'd be in those terms. Yeah, well, thank you. You know, um, I was talking to some people, and they said... Oh, I bet you were. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to what? Ants. <laughs> A door. And they, and they said that, uh, and forgive me if this is inaccurate, it very well could be, that they, they have seen you from time to time in, in Central Park uh, on a bicycle. Oh, yes. Is that true? Yeah, I love to ride a bicycle. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, I started riding a bicycle a long time ago. I was, you know, I used to exercise and I would sit on a, I was on a stationary bike, you know, and I was pedaling and I thought, what am I doing? Yeah. So I got a regular bike, and I love it. I yeah. ride up hills for long ways, right. and I ride it's it It's good. Park. You feel it right here in your uh, upper legs. Yeah. It? it really mm -hmm. starts to burn, and it's yeah. a great uh, aerobic exercise yeah. as well. And, uh, well, I don't ride that kind of bike. Well, you don't ride that kind of bike? No, no, no. It's, I don't know. I'm going nowhere. But I, um, <laughs> you get, what you do is you get out among the people. Right. You know, for celebrities, it's hard to be out among the people without sort of being... Is that trouble know, for you? Um, you know, some, on the bike, though, you get to whiz by, like... Last, this, uh, uh, Labor Day, right. you know, it was a beautiful day, I was here, it was in Central Park, it was sunny, it was bright, and people were in strollers and babies and happy families and people in frisbees, and I rode through the park, and I noticed, like, three, like, 14-year-old kids, and they were troublemakers, mm, yeah, yeah. and they were, like, swearing real loud, and I was going, oh, no. They were and they taunting were, people. They were taunting yeah. people and, and riding up behind people and scaring old ladies, oh. you know, or elderly ladies. Yeah. And he was saying, yeah! And, and I thought, oh, I hate these guys. I just hate it. It's so beautiful. I hope they don't see me. Yeah. So I keep riding. And finally, one of them, he doesn't know it's me. And he comes up behind me and goes, yeah, like this. And I look at him and I go, screw you. Good for you. Good for you. And so, so I, he looks at me and he goes, hey, it's Steve Martin, you know. <laughs> now he follows me to the park. Goes, it's Steve Martin, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, I'm like this. Yeah. So now I go, now it's two days later. It's night. It's balmy night. It's a beautiful night. I'm walking around New York with a friend, and this 15 year old girl comes up to me and says, Hey, remember the guy you said screw you to in the park? I'm his sister. <laughs> Uh, well, you, you know, let's talk about the, the book. I'm very excited. Sure. And I, I've been reading your book since I got a copy uh -huh. earlier this week, and it's, it's very good. Oh, thank it, you. It's very, little very uh, essays, little uh, pieces of humor. Yes. Very, very funny stuff. Thank you. Uh, and it's, uh, I guess, in stores right now. Oh. Pure drivel. Dri what? The, yeah. Pure oh drivel. My. Oh, my. It was supposed to be pure drive. <laughs> I told them. <laughs> <laughs> I should have proofread it. <laughs> Hey, want me to, that's your copy? Yeah. Let me sign that for you. You know, I didn't want to embarrass you. Thank you very much. Uh, I would love okay. you to sign it. I could see it in your face that you wanted me to sign it. I did. I okay. actually did. Okay. I'm really enjoying Here it. Here we go. So, dear... <laughs> Dave. Dave. Okay. <laughs> I love being your friend because you earn so much money. <laughs> I would love it if you would buy me a car. How about it? Would it be okay if I had sex with your girlfriend? <laughs> I'll sign in there you go. There you go. 
That's very nice. Thank you yeah. very much. I'll, I'll treasure that. It's okay. That's very you don't nice have too. to treasure it. It's, um, now, probably to save, to save the audience time, what I've done is, you know, I know you want to buy the book and you want to read it, but <laughs> I, to go to the trouble and analyze it afterwards, which is what you have to do, I've already broken it down for mm. you. So if you do have a, we have, I have a, chart a chart here. here. I, yeah, I don't chart. know what this is. Thank you. Now this is like a, a reading aid, a reading a reading guide. aid that will show you. Do I hold this? Or yeah, here, you? I'll hold it up okay. for you right here. You know how to do that. Sure. It just has uh, pages 312, uh, 24 through 35 are hilarious. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I see. That's yeah, because yeah. I was in a great mood. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Then we have these pages. They are pretty funny. Uh -huh. And that's because. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? I saw that. Go ahead. Yeah, I accidentally drank liquid paper. <laughs> And here we have some other pages that are so-so. <laughs> and that's because I was talking to Monica. Ah. Uh, and then, of course, these few, few pages here suck. <laughs> because I wrote them while sitting naked on, <laughs> on an oscillating fan. Really? Yes. You do that when you're right. Yes, but I'm not doing that anymore. No, I wouldn't do that Because the pages right. suck. Yeah. yeah. So, if they had been at the top, hilarious, I would have done sure, that at the top. But that's a technique you implored yes, while writing. Absolutely. Your... It's, uh, wow. Hemingway did it, actually. I didn't know yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Sat naked on an oscillating fan. Yeah. I'll be darned. Uh, you, you will? Yeah. You oh. can hang around here a little bit. we got okay. a lot of other I'd stuff to, to talk about. Good to see you, Steve. Okay, Thanks for coming by. We'll be right back here with our friend Steve Martin. Such a nice... Take a look at that. My gosh. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. That's nice. The planes, uh, of course, are now landing right yeah. there in Central that's Park. It. Now, that's New York City or is that L.A.? No, that was New York. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't get around very much. <laughs> uh, hey, boy, it's, uh, it's, oh. it's good to have you on the, uh, the program. And, uh, you know, yeah. it's always nice to see you. And the book is very, very funny. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I must it. say, it is a little... Well, it feels funny to be back, actually. You know, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been about... About almost three years. Yeah. And, you know. I know, I know, but I mean, <laughs> I no, think I, it's been okay, though. Yeah. I but, mean, I was jumpy as well. Yeah, still, but after what happened last time, I... Yeah. I mean, it was strange. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, yeah, I guess that's a way to look at it. As yeah. It was strange, I suppose. That's one way to look at it. But the important thing is that, you know, yeah. we've come through that and you're back, but and it's good. You remember what happened. Oh, Dave. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Good show. Yeah, yeah. You, you were great. Thank oh, you thank very you. much. Thank you. You were good, too. No, 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 no. No, you, you set me up great. No, the audience loved you, yeah, I thought. Well, they were a good audience. Yeah, because yeah. of you, you know? Yeah. Seriously. Well, um, you doing okay? I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well, I guess I better go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, I have to go, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
just not your sister. I love the Jonah Hey, Dave. Oh, hi. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. This is Catherine. Hi. How do you do, Catherine? Hi. This is uh, Nadine. Hi, Nadine. Nice Catherine. Hi, how are you? Hi. Well, it's good to see you. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Section enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was something, wasn't yeah, it? That's, that's how it went down. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. Okay. <laughs> I will. Have a uh, have a great holiday season. We got holidays coming up, I guess, right? Uh, name one. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween. Halloween. There you oh, go. Yeah. Hey, baby, we can go out. Oh. Uh, the book is. Uh, <laughs> Your drivel, this of course, is Steve Thanks Martin. Thank you Thank very you. much, Steve. Bye. Nice to have you. Steve Martin. We'll be right back with Trucky Roberts. Um, uh, just for both of you, uh, favorite, if you can remember, just favorite, favorite moment in the last uh, several years of working on The Letterman Show. What, what's a moment where you just stood off the side and went, holy shit, I can't, you know, this is amazing and I can't believe that I get to contribute to this. Well, I, for me, um, I think the moment, the, the, the moment that I think I remember would be, we did a piece uh, called uh, Dave and Steve's Gay Vacation. Mm -hmm. um, it was Steve Martin's idea. Um, oh, I remember this. Yeah, it was very funny. Steve Martin's idea where, you know, basically he... It was they went on a gay vacation together. Um, <laughs> a vacation. A vacation. <laughs> nice. And uh, John and I wrote a lot of it. Uh, Steve Steve wrote a lot of it too. And I I directed the little piece. And um, it was one of those things where there was a moment in time. And I think I have this footage somewhere in a box. And I I hope to God it's not gone. There's some B-roll. I'm standing, and Steve and Dave are are sitting uh, in in two chairs, and I'm directing them and I'm explaining what we're doing you know yeah. and there's just this thing where and I was very focused because you know you're on a schedule and all that stuff you know you're doing you're doing you're doing and I'm like okay no it's got to be like this and, and and at that moment I've I've lost you know I, I I'm I'm so focused that I'm not aware enough to realize who I'm talking to really do you know what I mean so yeah. I'm, I'm real I'm just I'm completely it's that thing that we all want to have where you're just in the moment but all of a sudden, as I'm doing this, and it's just this footage of the two of those guys looking up at me and nodding, <laughs> and I'm explaining, explaining, and literally there was all of a sudden, it hit me that I'm standing and I am now telling Steve Martin and David Letterman what to do, and they are listening eagerly to what I have to say, and that was the moment that I just, you know what I mean, you have that flashback moment where I'm just like, oh my God, you know, how can anything ever be better for me in my life? Then you got to be careful because in those moments it's like, just when you're learning to juggle or whatever and then you finally get it going, you're like, oh, I'm juggling and then you drop everything. Exactly <laughs> right. Exactly right. And that probably happened, but it doesn't matter because I was juggling. <laughs> I'll take it. On the show tonight, Steve Martin, Goldie Hawn, Jim Calhoun, and uh, Joe Henry. Great, great musical uh, oh, act. He, yeah. Musical guy. Yeah, huh? he, was, he was fantastic in rehearsal, huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Our first guest uh, star in a brand new uh, motion picture entitled The Out of Towners, which opens on Friday here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the always lovely and talented Steve Martin and Goldie Hawn. Kids! <laughs>
doing great. <clears throat> you know, I was, uh, I was coming downstairs, I was getting ready to come out here to, to start the big show, and I see a, a woman who looks like maybe she's, you're in a blanket back there. I was in a blanket yeah, until about five minutes well, ago. Yeah, rescued somebody out of the Hudson is what it looked like. You were <laughs> shivering and covered in a blanket. Why, it's so cold on this stage. Oh, it's great. Now, it's heated up a little since you arrived. <laughs> Let's say it's the perfect dress for this temperature. Yes, yes, sir. I know, it's so true. Right. Sure. All right. There's your U.S. select. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it occurs to me, I know you guys, uh, you're not married. You're not no. married, are you? We're not married to each other. No, we're not married we're not to, each to each other. other. But you look, you make a great couple. You make a fantastic couple. You know, it's We're amazing. a show couple. Huh? See, <laughs> we're a show couple. See, we're just the superficial couple, and Goldie gets to go home to her husband, right. and we have this superficial relationship. How long have you guys known <laughs> oh one God, another? That's how, like how long? depressing. No, it's not. I'm telling it's you, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it is? You don't have to sleep with me. <laughs> You have the best of me. I do have yes. the best of you, yes. isn't it? What does that say about relationships? Anyway, uh, um, we'll get into that on the next show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I agree. Uh, uh, how, long, how long have you known one another? How we long? met TV days, so that's a long time. Because when, actually, we were both in television together. Uh -huh. I was writing for the Smothers Brothers, and, and Goldie was on Laugh-In. And I was on Laugh-In, and it was really fun to be, you know, sort of watch each other in the hallways. But No, wait, I when had, you watch each other in the hallways, this means... Well, it was kind of, you know, notice each mm -hmm. other in the hallways. But see, I remember none of this. I don't think I ever met you. Well, it's very possible you didn't. <laughs> I haven't met you yet. <laughs> There's more to me, you're right. Oh, but have you, been, have, you, have you been friends for a, a long time? We have been friends for a long yeah. time. We've been friends since, uh, how many movies have we done together? We've done two movies two. together. Okay, let's... Okay. And, uh... <laughs> sure. Now, when you... Uh... No, but, but here's the thing. My Funny, best... I thought it was one. Wait, I have to... Oh, shut up. <laughs> I have to tell you that my girlfriend, my best girlfriend, Sean Randall, she lived with another girl. Uh -huh. And I oh, heard no, I about this about guy yeah. in very intimate ways by way of her roommate who was dating Steve at the Nina. time. Nina. 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 Exactly. Yeah. So I used to hear how he'd be, like, in his shorts reading the paper and, like, how hot he was <laughs> and how cute he was and all this stuff. I mean, really, we were all just, but you know. But what I want to know is... I would see Goldie on laughing and just think, I want her. <laughs> and now... Kind of all worked out. Good night. <laughs> Did you make a move? Did you do anything? <laughs> oh, Dave. You know, when, the, when the big stars come on and talking about the films, a lot of times, because yeah. of the intimate working conditions and the yes. pressure and the tension and the lonely remote locations, you know, things happen. Yes, there, and we romance. had a lot of love scenes and a lot of kissing. So, right. So the question will arise. <laughs> did we? Yeah, did you? Yeah. And? Oh, Dave. <laughs> Oh, you. Uh, no, she's happily married, I think. <laughs> well, you're not, you're not. I know you are. You're not really married, Just though, are you? Just never bring your husband around. I couldn't, oh. Are you? Am I married? Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah, there you go. So that's why well, I thought I'm in maybe, love. Well, of course, who isn't? Well. <laughs> uh, tell the folks about the film. Now, when you make a film like this, because it's uh, the remake of a, a, is it a classic film? It was, I guess, a classic uh, it film. It is now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the original is uh, Jack Lemmon and, uh, and Sandy, Sandy Dennis. Sandy Dennis. Now, yeah. do you spend any time looking at that film, or you just forget all about that film? Well, I saw it when I... Uh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, After you. You're so sweet. I know. Um, <laughs> we did uh, look at the film. We did. And we talked about it, and it was of its time really, really good, and we had to kind of update this film and make it more of its time. Yeah. And uh, I think that we sort of gave it more backstory. See, and I would have answered the question differently. Well, let's oh, hear, let's well, let's hear it, it because okay. this well, is what's yeah, fun about you. Well, I didn't look at the film. I was surprised that you looked at the film. I, didn't oh. look, I mean, I had seen the film a long time right. ago, but you know, no, I didn't want to be that a decision to Jack Lemmon is very powerful and great. He's a great actor. He could influence the performance. And you know suddenly why? you're doing Jack Lemmon, but I'm such a terrible mimic. No, but you know what? It, it was, I was producing the movie. 
And because we were producing the film, I really wanted to, I looked at the film mm -hmm. itself, not just at Sandy Dennis. So I was not looking at, do you, know, you know what I'm You're saying? looking at the end. I was looking at what the movie's really going to be about, mm -hmm. you know? And that's, that was actually what got me interested, because I was a little mm -hmm. iffy, you know, Paramount called us, asked if we wanted to do this, and... And I was iffy, and, and Goldie came over and explained what this movie is about. She said it's about a couple whose children are now grown, and they have to rediscover each other, their new lives together, and they do it through crisis. And I said, well, Goldie, if you're that enthusiastic about this movie, then I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And I said, but if you tell me six months from now that your psychic told you to do this, I'm going <laughs> to kill you. <laughs> so... So now, so now it's about, it's about six months later, and we're working on a scene. We just did a take, and it, we thought it was pretty mm -hmm. funny. And Goldie was like, oh, this is so funny. This movie's going to be so great. This is exactly what my psychic said would happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love watching you on the monitor. Oh, now it's me. You like looking at Steve on TV? I, I like being with him. Yeah. We, we have a lot of fun. You, you, you present yourself as just a dynamite couple. We you have know? a lot of fun. Handsome, successful, worldly, sophisticated. Yeah? Yeah, cute. Oh, Young. That's, that's great. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, that was that line that said, you know, I don't really want to be 17 anymore. I just like to kind of feel like I am mm -hmm. sometimes. Sure. Well, I think we all feel like we're 17, don't we? Uh, yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. Steve? Uh, I'm trying to think of a line, but I... <laughs> <laughs> I can't, Dave. <laughs> Sorry. Let's, because uh, I'm too old. Let's... Uh... <laughs> You want, to, you want to show people a little bit of the uh, film? Sure. You mean we act it out now? <laughs> no. Well, you I... could show them that love scene that was never in the movie. <laughs> what do you do? See how funny you are. I thought this was something that would never be revealed. <laughs> you brought a clip from the, uh, the deal? I think there? we did. Yeah, do you know what it is? Uh, no idea. Oh, yes, stop. We do. We, it's when we were trying to get a car. We rent were a car. Rent trying to get a car. car. Anyway, anyway, there's no cars in all of Boston. We can't. It was our last chance to get a car. People understand it's a couple from Ohio coming exactly. to New York City for an exciting weekend in the, in the no, big town. No, it's nope. not. It's really not. Not that at all. No. <laughs> really? It's not? It's a story about a man who is coming to get interviewed for a job. Oh, I see. And they go to New York. She thinks that it's definitely kind of a time away in the city. Mm -hmm. And he, my husband, has um, a much bigger problem. A much bigger problem. Was that good? Yes, that was very See? good. You didn't spoil it. I know. Okay. But that, the foundation of the story is everything that might go wrong on a trip to New York yeah. City, in fact, does go wrong, and so much more. Yes. Is that well, right? that would have been a good movie, yeah. <laughs> Well, New actually, only, only four things that could go wrong, <laughs> go wrong. <laughs> All right, so now in this uh, isolated moment of the film... This is the longest clip setup in the history I know, I, of clip setup. I know, it, it's all going to come yeah. together here in a minute, you'll uh -huh. see. All right, now, You're so what are we going to... This is where... Oh, thank you very much. I love your hair as well. You know, it's, it really looks good. You look very good. You look very good. Steve, why don't you get a cab? <laughs> Hit the road, pal. Yeah. So much for the fun couple. <laughs> that lasted two minutes, didn't it? Hey, easy. Oh, easy. we're back. We're back. Uh, I love making up. Do uh, <laughs> you want to okay. show the clip? Or? I do not show the clip. Uh, oh, Good. why rush things? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay. Well, let's, let's roll it. Say okay, roll it. Roll them. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's just roll it and we'll talk about it afterwards. Oh, cool. All right, here, here we go. The out of towners, Steve and Goldie. <laughs> Very entertaining. I really believe that the two of you should be the couple in every movie ever made. Oh. 
my oh. God, what a compliment. And Matrix? That is really funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quick, what? <laughs> Stop it, you bad person. <laughs> So what, what will you do now? What's going on? You look like you got something going on. Are you going somewhere tonight? You got something um, happening? You, actually, I'm going to go to my apartment mm -hmm. and take off my clothes. Yeah. And put on my pajamas. Well, that tells me where I'm going. And, <laughs> and work on my computer. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. good. You, you look like you ought to be going out somewhere. Let's all go out I somewhere. am going out somewhere. I know. Where are you going? Would I'm you? going to a play. What are you going to see? I'm going to see Chris Durang's play mm -hmm. called... Betty's summer vacation. Well, great. We'll save three down front. We'll be there. Okay. We'll be there. We'll be there. Yeah. I got no plans. Mm -hmm. Well, you can go. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Um, but I mean, we went from a tremendous success right into the toilet. <laughs> no, we didn't. I we have didn't? things no. to do. Okay, go ahead. Um, now? <laughs> well, what better time? <laughs> No, I, actually, I'm um, writing a film. It's writing first, a film? Yeah, oh, it's the you. first time I've done this with Jeremy Pixar. And uh, it is also about India, which is where I just came from. Just came back from India. And um, what else am I doing? Uh, I actually don't know. You would know better. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have, we, have to say, we have to say goodbye now. Um, we do? Is it over? Yeah. Well, it's not over. I mean, you, you, you're finished. Uh, <laughs> but it's not over. You mean our, our careers? No, are no, over. no, 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 no. Okay, this little say, no. Wait a minute. Sit down. Please sit down. Oh, no, wait, oh, no, okay, Bye, okay. sweetie. Bye. Thank you very much. Oh. Goldie Hawn, ladies and gentlemen. Well, no. I mean, Steve Martin. There they are. We'll be right back with Jim Calhoun. Well, I'm Paul Schaefer, and all this week uh, we are doing a kind of a behind-the-scenes, backstage, late-show thing. A lot of uh, Dave's good friends uh, are talking uh, all week about what it's like uh, to do the show with Dave, how they feel about Dave. And today uh, we're really happy uh, to have uh, one of Dave's favorites, Steve Martin, with us. Steve? How are you? Very well. Uh, Steve, you and Dave uh, obviously are very close. No. What? No, no not. we weren't really, no. You, not, not close. No. Really, because you're, you're very torn up about this. What? Oh, no, this is just the, the damn stock market. Oh, the stock market. One day it's up and one day it's down. Yeah, well, what can you do about yeah, no. that? But Dave, I'm feeling you better. know, all right, I'm, uh, we're happy to have you here. Um, you and Dave have known each other a long time. Yes, we have. I think I was one of the first guests on his afternoon show, his morning show. Did the morning show? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So you go back with him. Yeah. And you must have uh, a lot of a lot of memories. Fond you know, memories. Um, I was thinking the other day of some of the memories I have of doing the show. And I, when I would do the show, I would keep a diary. Really? I would go home at night, make a no little kidding. mention, like a and, journal. Yes, and I brought it down with oh, me because I knew we were going to. Let's see it. Talk. It's kind it's of a, a funny thing. It's sweet. It's and uh, I looked at some of the old shows, mm -hmm. and it was good. Oh, here's one. This uh -huh. is a good one. This is from 1994, February 6th. Mm. Um, I was, I felt great, audience seemed to love me, mm. uh, went especially well, uh, audience loved my bits, Dave seemed sluggish. <laughs> Here's one, uh, oh, this is March 6th, 1996, that was a, uh -huh. that was a good show. Uh -huh. uh, I was very hot, feeling uh -huh. good, audience up, I was up, mm. Dave sluggish. Slug. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh, here's one. Uh, this is from 97. This is fairly recent. Um, audience loved me. Uh, big night for Steve. Uh, they kept chanting, Steve, 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 Steve. Dave, sluggish. Again. Yeah, as though arteries clogged. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Well, you should do the show again. You know? Oh, I'd love to do it yeah. again. You know, when he's really up. Yeah. I spoke to him. He, he sounded very up, actually. Did he really? Yeah. I had a nice conversation with him. Have you... Uh, Maybe give him a call? Well, I, I wanted to write him a letter. Really? And uh, I didn't, you know, I knew he would be flooded with letters immediately. I so I wanted to wait, stuff, yeah. and I wanted to wait and make yeah. it a little more special. Oh. So I didn't send him any flowers, because I knew he'd have flowers. That's good, yeah. I didn't I mean, call him, because I knew he'd have so many phone sure, calls. Sure, I don't want to bother him. But the letter? You, the, you yeah, wrote and him I, a letter? And I, well, I did. I, I, I actually intended. Oh, you didn't send it? No, I haven't sent it yet. No. It's here. 
to write a letter. Can and we, I've uh, had some thought. Well, I haven't. I have written, written anything. We haven't but, written it yet. But I have the paper, and. Uh, uh, is this your letterhead or? No, it's, it's not. In one. I don't want to use my own letterhead. That's quite expensive, my letterhead paper. Oh, I see. Oh, it's, it's not your sister. I love it. Hey, Dave. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Good to see you. Nice to see you. This is Catherine. Hi. How do you do, Catherine? Hi. This is uh, Nadine. Hi, Nadine. Nice Catherine. Hi, how are you? Hi. Nice well, to meet you. Good to see you. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. That was a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, thanks. Moment. That was that was fun to me. That was actually quite difficult to shoot. I noticed. Yeah. yeah. It was so hard because we would shoot nights and we would Night go shooting to days, here. and we would go to. We were in Milan, and then we had to fly to Rome uh, well, yeah, for a day shoot, a night shoot in Milan, mm -hmm. then back to Berlin. Uh, yeah. Well, that I had no idea. So. Um, yeah. It came out. You know. It came out nicely, but I do believe that. My best work is on the cutting room floor. Ah. You know, I didn't have any control. Dave was cutting it for him, cut, cutting for him, cutting really? for him. Really, really. cut to me, cut to cut me. Cut to me. Yeah. No kidding. And I was doing some stuff. I think that was my best work. Actually, every time you do the show, it's always hilarious. Well, I love doing it. One of the one of the things I love, you know, when we do the show, usually it runs very, very smoothly. It always, it's, it always and, does. And it's great. But what I love most is when there's some kind of technical screw up. Ah. And we get to kind of swing with it, oh. you know, and, ah. and kind of ad lib and really, you know, show what we're made of sure. as comedians. Ah. That, it was interesting actually watching myself watch the clip. I've I'm never seen that before. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a kind of thrilling because you don't really get to. I would love to. Could, could we? Could I watch myself now? Could I watch myself watch? Watch yourself oh. watching yourself. I think that's yeah. interesting. So I am now watching myself. Watch you? Watch. Or am I watching well, myself watch myself? Watch yourself and us. Yeah. I wonder what it, I would love if I could watch myself watch myself. <laughs> because you just don't get that in life. Could we do that? There. Okay. So now, I am watching you, yet I am watching myself, yet I am watching myself watch myself watch you. Kind of fun. I happen to know that what Dave loves about your appearances on mm -hmm. the show is that you are so prepared. You come in with really special, out of the ordinary stuff uh, for us. Well, I, I feel prepared for. You know, the possibility of something spontaneous happen. That in case, That's what I meant. Yeah, exactly. But, but aside from that, because you're well, always great with that, you well, and Dave you know, have a thing. Yeah, it's, but to, to do any show, I think you have to be prepared emotionally, uh, you know, technically, you have to have material. Yes. And in fact, as you know, we did a documentary one time of the preparation for my being a guest on the show. It was a documentary about how you prepare. Yes, we did, and yeah. we ran. It I was very that. interesting, but, but many, many celebrities were quite upset. No kidding. Yeah, because... Um, it actually revealed the process. And sure. I know what they mean, to reveal the process. I don't, I always, I get upset when I see actors saying how they do it, because the audience is supposed to, it's supposed to be an illusion. Yeah, right, an And illusion. so there were many people quite upset. People were upset. You know, upset like magicians about. get upset when their, their, their secrets are revealed. Oh, of course, you can't reveal. On television. Sometimes it's you terrible, gotta sign a thing, yeah. Terrible thing to do. So you mean like, like magicians, celebrities were upset that you had given away trade secrets? No, actually magicians <laughs> were upset with, because they don't like any secrets revealed ah, at see. all. I see. No, yeah, no, of course they don't. No, no, you, no, no, you like you're not teach, supposed to. You, you can't even teach someone how to start your car without a magician <laughs> getting upset. Getting upset about. It. Yeah. Steve, one of the things we know about you is uh, you have a, a, a lot of um, knowledge about a lot of interesting subjects like art. <laughs> I know you're a collector, you know a lot about art. I'm interested in those subjects and astronomy. Science, I love science. Science, yeah, and astronomy, I heard. Is that true? Yeah, I love astronomy, mm -hmm. yeah. And geography. Geography, you know I'm very lot, good at You have geography. a lot of knowledge about places all over the right. world. Let me ask you about uh, some places. Sure. Just to see what happens. Okay. You know, I'm from uh, Canada. Canada, right? It's, actually, it's Canada. It is? Pronounced Canada. Really? Yeah. No, it because is. Because yeah. there's a city here in California called La Canada, and I assumed. That's it's not Kenyatta. the same thing. Yeah, no. So it's not La it's not, No, because there's no thing no over the uh, N or anything. Really? It's Canada. Yeah, because that's where I'm from. That's going to take some practice for me to say that. You want to try it? Canada. 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 So geography is yeah. one of your big... Yeah. Want to go to astronomy? 
Uh, sure. All right. Uh, like to. the constant. Try some state capitals first of all. All right. Yeah. Capital of uh, New York State. <laughs> that's a, uh, everybody knows that one. Well, that's East Coast. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Try, I tell you what. Tay, you name the state. I'll name the country. <laughs> all right. Mississippi. U.S. <laughs> and uh, ca uh, Kansas. U.S. I thought uh, it'd be fun to give Dave a call. Uh, that would be. I'd uh, love that. I'd love to. I, I would love to do Give that and just see how he is. Dave, sorry to wake you, it's Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Uh huh. How you doing? Ah. Uh, I don't need that kind of detail. I'm sitting here with Paul Schaefer. You want to say hello to Paul? And now from the home office in Wahoo, Nebraska, it's time for tonight's top ten. This has been a lot of fun. I want to thank Steve Martin for doing it. I thank would you, too. Steve. I, I thank him too. Thank you. 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 And uh, you. next up, uh, another good friend of ours, Billy Crystal, He's is going to be doing this. Yeah. He's very funny. Yeah. And he has a great name. Don't you think he has a great name, Billy, Billy Crystal? It's a great name. It is a great name. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Martin is another good name. It's like a name. Steve yeah. Martin is just a name. Like Billy. A, anything. Steve Martin. And now, the most boring man on earth, Steve no, Martin. No, no, not but at all. But Billy Crystal, Billy Crystal is exciting has, yeah. and fun. Yeah, crystalline. and Crystal. Uh, yeah, it's clean yeah. and fresh and, and exactly. crystalline, and then, yeah. It's like, Thank if I was on the bill with Billy Crystal, I would change my name to something more exciting. To, what would you change? Red Snapper. <laughs> <laughs> so the bill would be then? Billy Crystal and Red Snapper. Uh, Red Snapper, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to take off. Billing. Thank you it's for doing really it. It's been really fun. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I'm going to stay and watch you. Oh, you are. Yes, I am. Oh, good. So You'll be, be watching. watching. Although I'm leaving. Uh huh. All right. Good night. Thank you, Steve. Steve Martin. Billy Crystal next. Our first guest is not only a uh, funny and talented actor, but he's also blessed with a rare musical gift, which he's going to share with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Steve Martin and his singing balls. Singing balls, everybody. <laughs> we'll be right back. Come on over. I, I'd like to talk to you. I just think that I can talk to you. Steve 
Martin, ladies and gentlemen. That was, I don't know what to say. Oh, my green that, that, that was as remarkable a musical performance well, as we've ever you. had on the show. I was concerned because when you introduced me, the audience started clapping, and right. I'm afraid they didn't hear a singing ball. Yes. <laughs> so, even if they hadn't heard, it becomes <laughs> obvious so soon thereafter. Uh huh. <laughs> well, see, I didn't realize that. Yeah, no. How, how long have you worked on that little number? I like minutes. I, I've, you know. <laughs> Good to see it's you again. It's a fun thing to do because you don't have to do anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And the rehearsal must be a riot. Well, you know, this is not what I wear at rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... I don't... Um, you know, I saw your uh, movie Novocaine. You did? Yes, uh -huh. I, I got a big kick out of this film. A big and, kick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Helena Bottom Carter? Helena Bottom oh, Carter. Oh, man, tell me all about that. <laughs> well... And Laura Dern, too. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I can tell you all about both of them. All right, well, let's go. They're dynamic uh, women that are fun to be with. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and in the, in <laughs> well, the, case, in the case of one, she's uh, semi-naked. Uh, yes, and I've never done that before. Never had a sort of serious sex scene, and it's a completely awkward. Really? Yeah, it's very, very awkward. There's a lot of, you know, strapping in and, you know... <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Strapping in? <laughs> well, that's in. just me. You know, <laughs> you know strapping down. Uh, yeah, they, <laughs> I didn't... And it's, it's amazing because every time I burst them, so... Um, <laughs> No, it's, it's a completely awkward situation. You've heard actors say it's an awkward situation, and it is. Yeah, but it looked great, is what my, my point is. As well, a, that's as the idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, you're supposed to go, I, I wish that were me. Yes, well, I did. I said that to myself. I said, yeah. boy, I, w I wish that, that were Meaning me. Helena? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. I wish... <laughs> now, now you're dreaming. Yeah. The, the uh, other day. Uh, and, the, the, uh, and, and the movie you, you play, uh, it's, it's a strange I, part for you, really. Uh, the evil, not evil, really, but you find yourself in an odd situation as a dentist. Yes, he's a, a dentist who makes an erotic mistake mm -hmm. and uh, tries to cover it up. Right. Which is kind of unbelievable that a man would make an erotic mistake. <laughs> and try and we're, uh, we're opening against Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you'll be fine. Well, see, here's what I figured. Harry Potter has a very specific audience. Mm -hmm. Everybody. <laughs> so what we have, we have the, the people who do not fall under the category of everybody. Ah. I think that'll work. Yeah. I think that'll be yeah. pretty good. But it's a... I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's a, it's a very fun... It's kind of a psychological yeah. thriller. Yeah. Kind of like... Uh, Usual suspects, but with me in it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And you're not sure what's going to happen next. You're not sure what's going to happen. These, uh, turns and you don't and know who to trust. Yeah. yeah, it's very interesting, very exciting. Now, uh, I saw you a couple of weeks ago on, on the Emmy Awards, and, and you and I, we had, didn't talk about this, but we were in, uh, nominated in the We in were the both same, in the same, same category. category yeah. and well, we... What a vicious battle that was. <laughs> <laughs> the way you campaign, night after night on this show, I said, I don't have a show. This is so unfair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. came over me. I just wanted it so bad. Yeah. That, that would have changed your life if you had won that, but, yeah. you know, it, it was your year. It was, it was you. <laughs> it was me. It was, uh, I think, Ellen DeGeneres. I think Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. I, um, I'm leaving somebody out here. Uh, 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 oh, shoot. Come on. What, who is it? Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. Yeah, right. And, and yeah. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Who won? Yeah. 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 You, know, you, know, you know how she won? Email campaign. <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> You, you were nominated for hosting uh, the Academy Awards. Right. And you did a fantastic oh, job. Thank you I very thought much. you did a great job. Yeah. Yeah. Nice going. <laughs> Will you do it again, do you think? Uh, I don't know. You know who I modeled it on? No. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, Johnny Carson. Ah, well, do it. You can't, you can't do any better than that. No, you yeah, can't. Yeah. And uh, I thought you were great on the show. Actually. No, you didn't. Uh, yes, I did. I swear, I was there You're that You're the night. one. I know, you yeah. were there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was there. there. And I, uh, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. That <laughs> night when I was hosting the Oscars, I just saw you. <laughs> that's all I could think about. And is the kind of thing you would like to do more and more of? It's fun. You know, it's strange to, to look out and see an audience of celebrities and go, oh, they're my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they were, they were very kind and nice and... 
It was a good audience. Yeah. See, I had just a, a little different version of that experience. Well, everyone hated you. Yeah. yeah. I looked out, I said, oh, there's celebrities. They don't like me. Yeah. yeah. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and, and tell us about the, the book, Shop Girl. Shop Girl is now uh, in paperback. Now right? in paperback. We have the, we had it in hard, this is the hardcover. That's the hardcover. And then they did a, a very interesting thing. They changed the color mm -hmm. for the uh, paperback. It's wow. a slim a volume. And uh, is, sometimes it, it's daunting, you know, for people to, um, to read a right. novel. So they, we actually also have the Shop Girl pamphlet. What, what is this here? Oh, no. <laughs> you can, oh, and you really, yeah. it, it's, it's distilled yeah. into the, yeah. That's an excellent idea. You put it in your back pocket. <laughs> yeah. And I notice here with a little sticker on the uh, cover yeah, of well, the Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's not the Oprah sticker. I didn't uh -huh. get that. That's the, uh... The Taliban book club? Yeah. Yeah, well... It's a pretty good endorsement, though. Yeah, it's, I would think. Uh, you know, it's changing rapidly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what about the uh, the guy who wrote the who wrote the uh, book and then uh, Oprah uh, was uh, was on Oprah's book club and then Jonathan said, Franzen, yeah, the correct, won the uh, yeah, national he, book award. He won the national book award yeah. last night, and he uh, he had received the Oprah sticker. The, it's a, quite an endorsement, and it sells a lot of books. Oh, sure. And uh, he, uh, I think, uh, kind of maybe naively just said to you know when you've kind of first start doing promotion and you're talking to a little tiny newspaper mm -hmm. and I don't want to say because then I'll get letters from Omaha, mm -hmm. you know, uh, <laughs> and, and you think you're being quite private. So he said, well, you know, I thought my book was a little different than the Oprah Club and right. I wanted a little different aura around it and then uh, sort of blew up in his face. But he was very kind about it. Oprah was very kind. Mm -hmm. They, uh, I mean, he didn't, he didn't appear on the Oprah show. Have, have you? Have but you, he will be appearing on Martha Stewart's Good Morning, Wisconsin. So. <laughs> <laughs> have you been on the Oprah show? I've been on the Oprah show. How many times have you been on? I think a couple of times. I was on with Goldie Hawn once. Right, for uh, a film? Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah. What yeah. other? I, mean, yeah. I can't think of another reason why. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, be I mean, I, I did a film with Goldie, and I, yeah. as I recall, yeah. I can't think of another reason we would have gone on together. Now, did, did, uh, uh, did, do, you, do, you, do you know of a reason Oprah would not want me on her show? Yes. <laughs> really? Why, why wouldn't... What is it? Uh, just your fundamental nature, I guess. I, <laughs> really? No, I have the feeling that Oprah doesn't like me, too. But, but, but you've been on the damn show. I've been on the show, and then I... I don't know, I just have this vague... I have no reason, you know, uh, to think it, that... it did not come up on the show. You didn't say, Oprah, do you like me? Well, I thought she'd like me at that point. Oh, you did think she liked you. Yeah. But now something's happened and you I think... I think she... something has happened. I, I don't know what it is. And you, it's just something you kind of worry about, uh -huh. you know? Because you don't want Oprah. Well, that's, that's the thing, because Oprah is somebody to... to uh, you don't want Oprah no. to not like right. you. you because people it, like Oprah. And if they like Oprah, Oprah, and people Oprah love doesn't like you. The most powerful woman in, in this country, if not the world, Oprah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> do you think in your case it has anything to do with the singing balls? <laughs> I would think that you would I'll like that. I'll be honest that. with you. <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest with you, I called her up first. I said, I'd like to do the singing balls. <laughs> no dice. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back here with Steve Martin, everybody. Steve Martin is here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we're happy to have you here. Thanks. Earl Scruggs. But, uh, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I mentioned I was watching the, the Emmy Awards the other night, right. and, and Ellen DeGeneres comes out, and she's right. in the audience, and she's leaning over you talking to a seat filler, and it occurred to me, and I mentioned it on the air, I said, oh, look, they, both of those people, Ellen and Steve, have had sex with Anne Haight. <laughs> As an observation I had. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's interesting that you watch a show and that's what. But it's all of. that I could think yeah. of, honestly. And do you watch other shows and think the same thing? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Do you watch Oprah and you think, oh, Ellen and Steve had sex? It's good. But uh, is it, it now, uh, am I right about that? Did you date? I don't. I don't want to care about the sex. But did, yeah. did you, you? Right. I know. Yeah. You, you were you dated, right? We did date. Now this is before she was a lesbian. <laughs> well, I, I I don't know what was going on in her head. So, I see. You know, yeah. 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 Wow. It never came up, let's put it that way. <laughs> and, and now, uh, apparently, she was a part-time lesbian because she's, she's uh, uh, married and about to have a child. 
How does that make her part-time? Well, she, she, for a while, she was a lesbian, and now she's back to being not a lesbian, apparently. Uh, well, actually, I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. And, and, I do, and, and she was on the, uh, the Barbara Walters show, and it seemed like she'd gone through a, a terribly traumatic time. Yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you have any insight to that when you knew her? Uh, no, no. She was, uh, she was fun, and she was, you know... Well, sort I bet of... she was fun. <laughs> <Like>, uh... <laughs> I think there's no denying that. It was <laughs> sort of like being on a roller coaster with no bar. <laughs> yeah. oh, I see. Yeah. What does that mean? Huh? I don't know, like a safety bar. A safety bar. Safety bar, yeah. 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 Uh, how could it be taken any other way? I don't like understand. A, like a bar. A bar. A bar, oh, yeah. a bar. Oh, that, well, that doesn't make any sense. N- neither of them, no. no. Like, be on a roller coaster with no saloon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, makes no sense. Uh, Do you think the audience went, what does he mean, a saloon? <laughs> confusing. Now, uh, and, then, and then you were on the, uh, you, you were, they have the uh, Millionaire Show and uh, Martin Short. Your oh, friend, my Martin God. Short. Yeah. Don't mention and that. And Paul Schaefer was involved in this indirectly, weren't you, Paul? Yes, I was. <laughs> All right, tell this us that this was a disastrous... You, you guys were his lifelines, right? His were you a call. lifeline? I was going to be a lifeline. I wish he'd called you. I funny. bet you did, yeah. No, I, I'm going to make a long story short. I, uh, Marty Short was on the... Uh, I can't believe I'm talking about this because it was one of the sickest... I was ah, so sick really? that day. Yeah. Uh, I was going to be a lifeline for Marty Short in the field of art. You know a lot about art? Uh, art, I, I, I can pretty much mm-hmm. answer, I, I think, any question that, that uh, Regis could come up with. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> so they called me uh, with a literature question. Oh, gosh. And, you know, and it was a trick question mm-hmm. because it evidently had a correct answer. <laughs> so... <laughs> And I, you know, I confused myself. Yeah. But, you know, I, I don't criticize myself for missing the question. Because that's, you know, some things you know, some things you don't know. That's right. But I, what I criticize myself for is not saying, I don't know, uh-huh. instead of steering them wrong. Yeah, but at that point, they, uh, there's a great deal of pressure on you. They phoned you. You are the font of knowledge at that point. They yes. want to hear from you well, the also, answer. Well, also, I think they coerced Marty into calling me because he had a literature person, mm-hmm. you know, ready to call. But I think they wanted to talk to Steve yeah. about the literature yeah. question. And so I could blow it and be humiliated. Forever. <laughs> and his, his literature person was like one of his high school teachers, wasn't that part I, of the I don't know. I think it was a, profe- a yeah. professor of and, and Paul, you were going to be like a I was going to be music, yeah. yeah. Luckily, I got off the hook. Yeah. Literature question. Why wouldn't he call uh, like a college professor of literature? So. Because he had stupid Steve. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But it was a... Oh, no. It was a... Here, I'll give you... I think I remember the question. It was uh, which book... We were down to two, which makes uh-huh. it even worse. Um, well, you just had to choose one or the choose other. Choose one or the other, yeah. yes. <laughs> one or the other. Uh, the only thing that would have made it worse is if they were down to one. <laughs> uh, the question was, who uh, is, which of these books is, is uh, written in the first person, I think it was uh, The Great Gatsby or The Native Son, mm-hmm. or Native Son? Mm-hmm. What would you say? I would say The Great Gatsby because I know the answer. Uh-huh. Hmm. I'm happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> But it's misleading. Misleading in, in what sense? Well, it's misleading because, you know, Gatsby, you think, well, he doesn't speak. He doesn't, he never speaks. Mm. So then you realize it's a narrator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. And how much, how much money did, did, did Martin not get for this? I would prefer not to talk about it. All right, fine. Well, that's too bad. But, you know, uh, uh, with that kind of pressure, I don't think that I would have been able to come up with the right answer either. Well, it wasn't that. I mean, I could have come up with the right answer if I had known it. I see. It wasn't that I was so nervous I couldn't think of the right answer. So it's just ignorance. It's that then. It was ignorance. I see. <laughs> but it was, you know, it was the ignorance was not to say I'm ignorant. Right. It was to think. It's to think I knew. It's like a roller coaster. Because you're only down to without two. a bar. Yeah. But why would it be like a roller coaster without a saloon? I don't understand. Let's uh, let's uh, show a little bit of the uh, the Novocaine movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's t- show it all. Let's break precedent. <laughs> well, all right. You're the boss. Do you still do you still play cards with Johnny Carson? Uh, sometimes I do. When yes. was the last time you saw him? Uh, I think maybe two or three months ago. How's he doing? He's doing great. Yeah. And is you and a bunch of guys go over to his house every night? No, they come over to my house. You're, to your house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and you Carl, have... Carl Reiner and Neil Simon. I shouldn't 
this is illegal, so I shouldn't really well, no, be talking mean, about no, it. We're, it's not illegal. But we're very careful. We say, I'll wager a blue one. <laughs> But this case has been, for, going, on, being been going on forever and ever, hasn't it? It's been going on a long time. Yeah. And, and what, what does Johnny talk about when he comes over? Does he, does he ever say, you know, he misses being on TV or anything? No, he, I, you know, I shouldn't talk about his personal... Well, okay. Um, <laughs> no, I think he's quite happy. He, may, he made, made a decision not to... In fact, I had asked him to appear on the Academy Awards. Sure. And um, I had a joke. I, I was going to come out and I was going to say... Uh, uh, I've just been looking at the tapes, and it turns out I'm the greatest Oscar host ever. <laughs> and I'm so excited. And then Billy Crystal was going to walk yeah. out behind me, and I was going to go, oh, I'm sorry. And he was going to go, well, I've been looking at my tapes, and I'm the greatest host ever. And then Johnny Carson was going to come out, and the place was going to go crazy. Yeah. But, you know, Johnny, once he retired, I guess he, yeah. he retired. But he's, he's funny. Like some of us should. <laughs> <laughs> he he's, must be funny he's at very these card funny. games. Yeah. He's very yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Very funny. All right, now let's get back to the uh, Novocaine film. It's, okay, uh, I've you're been a trying dentist. to. All right, what are we going to see here? I don't know. It's a clip. It's a clip of... Uh, is, is Helena Bonham Carter in this I one? I think Helena Bonham Carter is in this one. Hold down yourself. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Steve Martin, Novocaine. Take a look, kids. Uh, here yeah. you go. <laughs> Opens tomorrow. Just, uh... Guess what happens next? <laughs> <laughs> That's when the strapping in took place. <laughs> you know, it's always uh, always great fun to have you here. It's great to be here. I hope you come back soon, and I, I mean it. I, I come back soon. Okay. Well, all we have to do is write some material. All right. Well, well <laughs> pull up a chair. Um, good to have you with us. Great. Have a great holiday great. season. Thank Steve you Martin, much. everybody. We'll be back in Earl Stone. folks. Here we go. Our next guest is a, a legend in the world of uh, bluegrass music, and he's assembled a, a stellar cast of musicians to perform a song from his uh, new CD. The new CD is entitled Earl Scruggs and Friends, and so tonight, listen to this. Uh, do me a favor now. Please welcome uh, Harry Stinson, Glenn Duncan, Marty Stewart, Vince Gill, Randy Scruggs, Steve Martin, Albert Lee, Gary Scruggs, Jerry Douglas, and of course, Earl Scruggs. Here we go.
Good to see you. Earl Scruggs, everybody. Thank you, sir. Nice to see you. How you doing? Stephen, excellent job. <laughs> Earl, good to see you. Thank you very much. How you doing again? Vince, been a long time. How you doing? Nice to see you. Marty, thank you very much. Great job. Earl Scruggs and friends, everybody. We'll be right back. Did I mention, by the way, that Paul Schaefer, thank you very much, Bruce, happens to be a Grammy winner. Yes, that's right. Congratulations. Uh, a year ago, you won. Yeah. Along with Steve Martin. Yes, Steve, we were both on the same record. That's right. We are, we are just lousy with Grammy winners here tonight. Wow, it's a yeah. Grammy, Grammy night. Our next guest is uh, one of the funniest, uh, most talented men we know. He stars in a new film entitled Bringing Down the House. It opens March 7th. Here's Steve Martin. <laughs> It's going to be hard to keep from crying. <laughs> oh, no, no. I love that applause because it's so much easier than doing material. Yes. <laughs> I, I just want to say, I haven't seen you in like a year and a half. You, you look fantastic. Thank you, you. You look remarkable. You look fit. You look trim. Really? You look ready to go. Well, uh, this is the, uh, the, a beautiful, the look. It's, it's a, a beautiful look. It's kind of, Can you see? It's kind of a wrinkle. Has I a noticed wrinkly that when effect. you came out, it seems yeah. as though it is wrinkled. That's yes. a good time to notice it. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of, say, prior uh -huh. to seeing me. No, I hadn't seen it before. So, and this is kind of a hip look, and it actually uh, extends my career by five years. <laughs> by really? wearing something kind of hip. So you are very smooth. Uh -huh. I'm limiting the length You're of limiting your, on this trajectory, <laughs> on this, or yeah. uh, what, what's this for, happening I've now. I've been on this for quite some time. <laughs> I'm fairly comfortable with this. Uh, you know, we talked about the uh, Grammy Awards last night. Paul, of course, won a Grammy. You've won multiple uh, Grammys. I have won. Multiple uh, Grammys, yes, I won a Grammy last year for Best Country Instrumentalist. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> Good for you. I'm not kidding. And it says, even though, that's right, there, there, are, there are, I think there were 97 musicians on this Earl Scruggs record uh, of Foggy Mountain Breakdown, yeah. but the Grammy just says Steve Martin, Best Country <laughs> Instrumentalist, <laughs> which is, you know, a shock uh -huh. to... You say Alan Jackson. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but still in all. I have never won an award in my field. Which means what? Well, you know, there's no comedy awards. It's like weird things like best country instrumentalist. Uh -huh. I see. But it's interesting to me that you are multifaceted. Uh, you're a uh, well, fantastic comedian. Well, I can understand comedian, why that would be interesting actor. to you. Yeah. But, <laughs> being being <laughs> unidimensional. <laughs> but you, uh, you also an accomplished musician. Did you ever yeah. think of maybe uh, spending more time as a professional? No. When I was younger, I, I, I could play the banjo. I played it back, but I didn't want to continue as a musician mm -hmm. because, well, there's a, there's a sentence that has never been uttered in the English language. Mm. And that sentence is, oh look, it's the banjo player's Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> so when I, well, when I won the... Makes sense now. Yeah. When I, when, I, when I won the Grammy, I just, I was really excited, you can imagine. I just wanted to leap into the air. Yeah. <laughs> now, but uh, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Because at the time I was wearing a short skirt <laughs> with no underwear. Really? Yeah, and it was, you know. You, uh, you're getting very close to... Uh, Bombing? No, 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 oh. no. <laughs> I've taken care of that for everyone tonight. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, no, the Academy Awards again. This will be your second visit to the, the Academy second. As yeah. to the Academy Awards. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I've realized that hosting the Academy Awards, it's like, it's like making love to a woman. Mm -hmm. In the sense that... At the end, I bow and get applause, which is so... <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm, I'm hosting for the second time because 
I wanted to break your record. <laughs> That's right. I'm a single-time host. Yeah, but you did it once, and I thought, you know what? I would love to, if one day, if I could tie his record. <laughs> and then I did, and then this crazy thought occurred, uh, <laughs> which was, oh, my God, what if I could beat his yeah, record? Right. <laughs> Because for a long time, people said that would never be broken. I know. That it would stand I mean, forever. Billy has a record, I don't know, five or eight times, but I'm not going to go for that because that's a lot of work. But your record, <laughs> completely breakable. Yeah, that's right. And I'll be the first to applaud when you do break okay. that record. Uh, you, uh, you, you're so much fun to, to be on the show. And you know, we do we, we have, have so many... <laughs> We have so many of these shows a year, you know, like two, three hundred, and, right. and many nights people come out and we don't really care about them because they're not interesting or they, they're... But, but you... Yeah. Well, now that you're booking losers on the show, you have a whole new possibility <laughs> for guests. Well, see, that's There's what... So many more losers. We have to exploit whatever we can. Yeah. But uh, what I'm trying to say is you're always such a, a, a great guest, and, and I know people, people tell you that when you go... For well, I, I haven't been on the show for a while, I'll be frank with you. There was... There was an article in the New York Times about, uh, that, yeah. about my appearances on your show right. saying that that's where I'm best. Yeah. I'm best when I come on I your show. I think that's true. Well, I, I was very intimidated by it, and I thought, uh, what am, what am I going to do? The pressure is really on. And then I thought, obviously, it was written by Karen James. She, she did not see every show, because mm -hmm. I know we've done some good shows, right. but I know there have been some shows that, that aren't so good. And I thought, if I'm going to go on the show again, I am going to have to come clean. I'm going to have to be honest about some of these other shows. So I put together a clip of some of the other shows. Oh, no. That some of the shows you did here? That and I think it will make it easier for me next time because now we will have a clean now, slate. Is this going to be embarrassing for me in any way? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, that's every show. That's every <laughs> night. That's, 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 that's nothing to do with me. No. That's right. <laughs> all right. So you, you, know, you have a kind of an anthology of, of bad appearances on this show? Well, where things go wrong. You be the judge. All right. Okay. All right. Take a look, Steve Martin. This is a really great movie, and I'm loving going in, you know, because it's so it's so great. It's so great to go in, you know, and actually do the work and do the work, and that's what's what I bring. Just, just, just. <sighs> so anyway, what I'm saying is, you know. So I just wanted you to meet her because, you know, we met last week and we've been getting along great and I promised her that I would introduce her that, she wanted to meet you. That's so. great. And what do you do? Uh, well, I deal in rare books. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm on the movie set and the son of a bitch director comes up to me and says, hey, you son of a bitch, you know, you're an ass. I said, I'm an ass. No, no, you're really the ass. I said, I said, don't bull me. He says, what do you mean? I'm bullshitting you. You should bull me. I try me. So this actress comes by with fantastic knockers. Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve? Oh, oh really? You, had, like, oh, a bit you haven't asked me oh, a have you ever seen, in five years. What about years? Tom Hanks? Have you ever seen Tom Hanks? Oh, he's the oh, oh, yes, oh, oh, no, Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The jerk made an awful lot of difference in my career. It was very big for me. And after that, I began, you know, writing a little bit. Roxanne did some writing. Excuse me. Writing. Excuse me. Wait, you're, not, you're not Steve mm -hmm. Martin at all, are you? No. No. I see. And, and where is Steve? Now, he's doing Leno tonight. Ah. I would love a hug, babe. I sure would like a hug. I think it would be good. A hug. A hug would really be good, Dave. Just, yeah. Okay. See? See, Dave? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program a very funny man, Steve Martin. Okay. Where? Is he here? I didn't know you had kids. <laughs> oh, that wasn't so bad. Right. The woman passing by, I grabbed her kid. <laughs> A little stroll down memory lane. I enjoyed that. Thank you very much. I, while we're gone, we'll give that uh, suit a crack with the steam. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back here with Steve Martin, everybody. will be out here later. Steve, I, tell me. I'm sorry, go ahead. First, I, I didn't know you had a band. Yeah, they're oh. great. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Good. You, uh, uh, I remember you used to, I think still do live in Los Angeles. Yes, spent I Spent the bulk of your career living and working there. The bulk? Uh-huh. And, and now uh, spend time here in New York. The bulk of me lives in L.A., and then just that little tiny part lives <laughs> yeah. there. But do you have a, an apartment here in New York? Uh, it's none of your business. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> 
And, and how, that's, what do you think? I, I, that's why this suit is wrinkly, because I have no place to sleep. <laughs> I stayed here last night. Uh-huh. And uh, do you enjoy your time here? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I, I live mainly in L.A. That's where the dog is. That's how you know where you live, because that's where the dog is. What's the dog's name? Uh, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of dog but is here, it, what's, what kind, what of, kind dog? of dog is he? Uh? Wouldn't you rather stick with this? No, I want to hear uh, more about Roger. <laughs> He's a yellow lab. Oh, they're great. They're yeah, the thank best. you. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, this bit I have. <laughs> how, old is, how old is Roger? How old is Roger? He's eight. Eight. See, I, I know a ten-year-old yellow lab. I'm dying out here. Go ahead. You know a ten-year-old. Ten-year-old yellow lab named, named Oscar. Oscar. Yeah. So well, Roger, you have Oscar, Oscar and Roger. That would be so cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear. Now I'm, you know. Yeah. But I like New York. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> That's, I, you want to add this to the tape? <laughs> this is going on. It's definitely going on the tape. Wow. Uh, well, I had a premonition about mm. this. No, no, so you're in yeah. New York City, and you're out among people, and they, they bother you sometimes? No. They leave you alone? Well, I, no, no, they're, they're nice? very sweet here. Yeah. First of all, you have to understand that here in New York, I'm known a little differently than I am in L.A. Really? In New York, I'm known as the lesser Woody Allen who'll show up. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell a, a sweet story. Right. I was, it was last September 4th, uh, Labor Day weekend, mm-hmm. and I was in New York, and it was very hot, and everyone was out, and it was a beautiful day, and I was riding my bicycle, and I was over by... Um, uh, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and there's crowds of people in the plaza, and I was riding my bike very slowly because there's so many people, and I saw uh, two girls, they're about 15 and 14, and I, I saw that out of the corner of my eye that they recognized me, and they were, ooh, and um, sort of worked their way over to me, and, and one of them said, the, there was younger, there was a kind of a uh, 15-year-old who was more like a woman, and there was the 14-year-old who was still like glasses and mm-hmm. braces and still kind of growing up and very cute but you know that awkward stage and she said to me uh, hey are you Steve Martin and I said uh, yes I am and she went ah! <laughs> and I just went just just keep it down a little bit <laughs> and she got this look of panic on her face like she had done something wrong and you could tell her mind was clicking over and she said hi dad <laughs> <laughs> And pretty quick thinking. It's pretty quick. <laughs> that is sweet. That's a very sweet That's a story. Very, very sweet story. Yeah. Then we all laughed. There's three strangers yeah. sat there and laughed. Yeah. It felt better. There was another. I was promoting. It felt better. Uh, no, I, I said, did. Oh, good. Everyone. Yes. Good. I'm glad I did. We all did. I didn't. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. So now I know. Uh, I was promoting bringing down the house where you know they do these junkets in hotels and oh, things. Yeah. And I was walking down the hallway and there's about a, uh, a seven-year-old girl there and she came up to me and she said are you in a movie? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but a valuable lesson it also. Is. All of us very lucky. Now, uh, you got to work in this movie with Eugene Levy, who is just the best, the isn't he? Funniest, Fantastic. Eugene Levy, Queen Latifah. Yes. Tell us about the film. I uh, know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That would, oh, that would be wrong. That would be wrong. That would be fine. Yeah. Nothing wrong oh, with that. Okay. You mean morally? I you guess it would be morally. wrong to talk about the film. But I have a strict moral code. That is. That's <laughs> a no-no. We need to talk about the movie or Roger. Which would okay, you rather we'll go talk with about? the movie. All right. No, it's a movie. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I am I supposed to say what I play and all that? My character mm-hmm. of uh, <laughs> yeah, Peter tell Sanderson. Us, tell us a little bit about the film. Peter Sanderson. <laughs> He's a lawyer. Uh huh. Internet dating, right. thinks he's meeting, you know, a beautiful blonde, it's, and it's Queen Latifah. Mm-hmm. And then she comes into his life with uh, black culture and affects, mm-hmm. affects my life. And it's a, it's Everything a then goes topsy-turvy. Yeah, that would be, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it, Is it me? No. Is, is everything no, all right? No, it's neither one of us. Uh, yeah, no. I think that's... I think and that it's is hot, true. this movie. It's hot. <laughs> it opens uh, March 7th. And Eugene Levy plays your... He plays my buddy, and he develops an attraction for Queen uh, Latifah. Mm-hmm. In fact, he has one of my favorite lines. He's talking to Queen Latifah, and he says to her, you got me straight tripping, boo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, she, she was here a couple of weeks ago. I know, she, and she's a fabulous, Yeah, she said she had a great person. time. She said yeah, she, we really did. I know that's a cliché. But we did have a good time. All right, now we're going we're gonna to take a look at oh, it. I have, to, I have to set up this clip a little bit. Yeah, do you mind? Okay, but you have to go back early in my career. 
Now this is, uh, I'm a lawyer, she's coming in to me to, uh, she's got some new evidence that will that will uh, free her from this uh, criminal charge. Mm -hmm. And that's it? That's what we're going to see. And then, I'm trying to make no, it no. more interesting. <laughs> okay, but you, you, you obviously... But she doesn't know, I'm wearing women's underwear. <laughs> but you, you've obviously met at this point. We have met. Yeah, okay. we're, we are, she's trouble in my life. All right, here point. we go. Bringing yeah. down the house, it Woo. opens March 7th. He knows the lingo. Yeah, I know the lingo. March 7th. Very, very funny. Bringing down the house. Queen Latifah, Eugene Levy, and Steve Martin. Good to see you, Steve. Thank you. Any final thoughts before you take off? Uh, so, that you, so you're suggesting then that it's over and you want me to go? Not really. Oh. Not, not really a suggestion. Well, you did say final thoughts yeah. before you go. Yeah. You know, if you, if you said that to a guest at a dinner table... Uh -huh. Yeah. They'd be offended. Might be considered an insult. Yeah, all right. Well, let, let me... Yeah. Anything you'd like to say? Any, by the way, you don't have to leave. Oh. Well, how about if I said any final thoughts before you go? <laughs> <laughs> Music to my ears! Yeah. I've been waiting yeah. 21 years for somebody to say that. Now you know how it feels <laughs> no. to be hurt by you. Oh, what a... <laughs> It's, uh, You're a powerful man, Dave, and sometimes you don't understand right. that when you say something to somebody like that, it hurts. All right. Uh... <laughs> Steve Martin, everybody. We'll be back with Foo Fighters. talented actor who stars in a new motion picture entitled Cheaper by the Dozen. Uh, you can see it beginning Christmas Day all across the country. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Steve Martin. Would you, would you mind if I stand during the interview? <laughs> well, I can't tell you why. <laughs> oh, my. That, that raises a lot of questions. Yeah, there. well, that's Welcome why I'm here. Welcome back, and Thank you. nice to see you. And hey, wait, I have a question for you. Sure, go ahead. In the top ten list. That's right. <laughs> were those supposed to be dumb guys? <laughs> dumb guys, yeah. the thoughts dumb guys you, had while watching the I movie. see, because yeah. you only said it four times. <laughs> you know, the first time you said these are supposed to be dumb guys. Yeah. yeah. I just forgot completely that they're supposed to be dumb guys. Then you said it again, and I went, oh, right. Oh, they're supposed dumb to be guys. dumb guys. And then it just went away. Mm -hmm. Then you re looked over at Paul and said, see, they're supposed to be dumb, dumb guys. guys. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the title card came up and said dumb guys. And in the middle, you said, they're supposed to be dumb now, guys. Did, did you and then I forgot by number two. Did you find that, that my... So I didn't get number one. My constant reminding actually enhanced uh, your enjoyment? I think it's a sign of performing comedy a long time. You just want to go, it's dumb guys. <laughs> you just don't want to take a chance. You don't want to take any you know, chance. One person might not get it. Right. Now, did you see Alan and his brother Rick singing earlier before uh, that? I did. Yeah. Yeah. And how did you feel about that? Uh, I was actually more worried about myself. At the <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was backstage oh, and good. I was thinking, wait a minute, that steps on my bit. That's the thing. <laughs> I, I hope the rest of America feels the same way. Now, listen, Steve, uh, you've had a... You, you, wait, what? I, I hope the, as they were watching it, the rest oh, of America... Oh, that they were thinking of themselves. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, now, you've had... Uh, I thought you meant they wanted it to step on their bit. <laughs> Too. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'll bet a lot of people at home aren't doing bits. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Although we can certainly use them any given yeah. night. It would yeah. be, a, there'd be a welcome addition to the show. Now, now I, you know, I missed, I've been working and I, I, I didn't realize you had a baby. Can, tell, tell me a little bit about the baby. <laughs> uh... Well, yeah. It's a little boy. Uh huh. My, my first. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's just something you gotta watch out for. Okay. Wait till you hear what he did. Yeah, no, I won't. I'm trying not to yeah, do that. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, now, just that you happen to be on TV. Doing tell it. me about your. Uh, you had a great year. Congratulations. I mean, you're in this. Uh, uh, bringing down the house, like a like a huge blockbuster of a movie. That was a, a big, uh, good hit. And by the way, thank you for your note. That was so nice. <laughs> 
busy at home. I know. Ah. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I didn't have the baby then. No. Uh, but you and uh, Queen Latifah and yep. Eugene Levy, yeah, yeah. You must be excited. Eugene was, won a, an award for his uh, thing in uh, Mighty Wind. He won the <laughs> New York right? Film Critics Best Excellent. Actor That's or good. Supporting well, Actor or something. Yeah. 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 But this is not really about him, is it? No. no. <laughs> But I understand he has a movie coming out. Oh, that's wrong completely. And, and when you have a, a big movie like that, what is it? What is it? Do? It ruins your life, actually. Really? My career was going nicely, you know, kind of downhill. <laughs> and things were calmer and quieter, yeah. and that's you get sort of the benefits of celebrity without any of the, you know, attention, you know. And then suddenly there's this hit, and now you're busy and working and doing this. And... Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And then I'm not complaining. By the way, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm being humorous on television. Uh -huh. uh, and then I notice here in the People magazine, you are one of the 50 most beautiful people <laughs> everywhere. Look at that. There you yeah. are. How about that? It's um, 50 most beautiful people. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations it's a, again. It's a burden. <laughs> you know, to have that kind of beauty and just carry it around. <laughs> it's a struggle. Were you ever one of the 50 most beautiful? <laughs> oh, by the way, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Yeah. <laughs> so you weren't? No, I've never been. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, I appreciate what a your bummer. indulgence. Yeah, it yeah. is a bummer. Yeah. But what is that like when you go around and people say, oh, here's Steve? Well, um, you mean like at a party or something, and yeah. there's other people who are not uh, one of the 50 most beautiful? Right. It's, lo <laughs> it's, it's lonely. Yeah. <laughs> And I try to hide that I was one of the most 50 uh, most beautiful yeah, people, but yeah. it always seems to come out. <laughs> <laughs> and has that also proven to be a burden? Uh, it was a burden way before because, you know, if I was 50, <laughs> one of the most 50 most beautiful now, imagine 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you got an excellent point there. Uh, and, and then and now, uh, the motion picture, Cheaper by the Dozen, which opens uh, on Christmas. Christmas I Day. Yeah, Christmas Day, that's right. And this is a, a great idea for a movie, and it's, uh, the original idea was, uh, it's not a remake of the original No, film. it's not. It's a remake of the title. That's right. <laughs> and uh, they took the title, yeah. and the same idea, a couple with 12 children, but t times drastically changed since the book and original movie came right. out, and it was, it's a new look. And it's, uh, you play uh, the father of 12 children? I play the father. And, of... and a uh, college football coach? Is yes, that? which yeah. I, I, uh, I wanted to show, uh, you know, Hollywood and the world that I could play a uh, football coach. <laughs> and, uh, I'll tell you why, because I try to have a range <laughs> in my career. For example, in All of Me, I played a uh, tax lawyer. Right. And then in Bringing Down the House, I played a corporate lawyer. Ah. And so I wanted to show that I could play both. And now <laughs> that I'm playing a football coach, uh -huh. yeah. there's a lot of talk. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of there talk. There may be other Hollywood. football coach movies in your future. Well, I would uh, now, I would extend. I would really start pushing the envelope uh -huh. and play, a, say, a waiter. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you yourself, as a... As Am I a, bombing? No, you're no. fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> as a, as a, did you play football in school? I did. I was... Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. What, what position? <laughs> I was a cheerleader. <laughs> that's, that's not really... That's a, that's not really playing football. Well, that's as close to the action as I wanted to get. Uh -huh. Actually, I did play football, and, you know, I played... Uh, and then I hurt myself. Really? Intentionally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get off the team. You know. uh -huh. So, so you, then you know a little bit about the sport. That's I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I'll tell Hike. you what, <laughs> I, I want to I talk more about the, uh, the, the, the movie. Well, I hope so. And then I understand you also have a little something else in addition to the movie you'd like well, to Well, that's a thing I just can't get away from. Okay. Are we going, we're going yeah, away? We'll, we'll okay. do that as soon as we come back here with uh, Steve okay. Martin, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. <laughs> Gentlemen, and we were talking about the, uh, the big Christmas release of Cheaper by the Dozen, and then you have something else. I well, actually, what happens, I've been going on shows uh, you know, promoting Cheaper by the Dozen and right. talking about it, but everybody knows 
about my Christmas album, and they all want to me to talk about that. Oh, see, now I didn't know about the Christmas album. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we have a you know an ad running, and every year it's out, and it sells a lot. It's the biggest. It's the biggest pirated uh, record in China. Is that right? Yeah. And we have the uh, commercial that we run. Would you like to no, see no, it? Yes, huh? I would love to see it, but yeah. you know, this is something you do every year. Absolutely. Uh-huh. <laughs> and and it's, uh, you're performing, singing? What do you do? Well, it, it's all uh, exp- it's explained in the commercial. Do you okay, mind? So, no, yeah. I don't mind at all. Actually, by contract, you have to show it. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a commercial for your annual Christmas album. Absolutely. Steve Martin, mm-hmm. take a look. <laughs> it's the hottest album of the season. It's Christmas with Steve. You'll thrill as Steve sings his favorite Christmas songs. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the hay. Silent. What is it? <laughs> Night. Yes, you'll love each and every song personally picked by Steve. He is the drummer boy. And as an added bonus, He's he never looked at the lyrics. Dr- Deck the bells with gels of barley folly. You'll also get the ring dingling song. Ring dingling, ring dingling, ding dingling, ring dingling, ding dingling, ring dingling, ding dingling, ring dingling, merry, 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 merry. As well as Donde Esta Santa Claus. Donde Esta Santa Claus. And other public domain songs that the whole family will enjoy. Over the fields we go laughing. Ha ha. You'll also get these songs that are not in the public domain. It's I the. And remember, he never looked at the lyrics. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle dingle dingle. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell ding. I had a dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell ding, and a jingle bell ring. This has to have the what was. So rush right out and buy Christmas with Steve. Available only on eight track. Absolutely no refunds. Endorsed by the World Council of Churches. Available at these fine stores. Wow! I gotta rush right out and buy one of those. Yeah. Very impressive. Not available in stores. <laughs> <laughs> and you make a lot of money on it. Oh, I guess. you make a yeah. lot of yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, I saw you there in one scene in the commercial. You had the little children around you, and you worked with the 12 kids in the movie. Do you like working Delightful. with Delightful. It yeah. was so much fun. And these, kid, these particular children were so uh, mm, untainted by show business. Mm-hmm. They were regular and funny and sweet. That's and, good. Uh, yeah. yeah. And... Um, you know, they were just cute, and there was a lot of activity. You'd be coming out of your trailer, and there'd be a skateboard or a frisbee flying by or something. Yeah. It's a really sweet, funny movie, and yeah. it's, um, it's doing well. I mean, I would say that, but it hasn't opened yet. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> <the> number one. <laughs> you, you know, I just realized yeah, it's, it's probably not illegal for me to say it's say number one if it's yeah, not. Yeah, right. it's number one. It's the number yeah. one movie in the country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's doing well yeah. even before it's released, in advance yeah. of the release. It's the number one comedy. Let's, uh, let's show people a, a clip of this. Look at a clip. All right, do you know what we're going to see? I have no idea. Ah, come on. I don't. Yeah, well, you have to. No. I mean, I know, I, I know it's something from the movie. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, yes, I yeah. do know it's something from the right. movie. And do you know... I let the professionals pick it out. I sound like Johnny Carson. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but if you had to guess, uh-huh. what might Seven. it be? <laughs> no, what, oh, what? Sorry. What, what might the... <laughs> What might the scene, the scene be? Uh, it could possibly be... You and the children? Be, uh, something with the children. They probably want to do that. Maybe something with Bonnie. Uh-huh. Something that shows the joy of the film. I'll tell you, know, you what. I'll tell you what. Let's we just, could just solve it let's right just away. Let's so, show the whole damn movie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here now we have a yeah. scene from Cheaper by the Dozen with the Steve Martin, Bonnie Hunt. Take a look. <laughs> Cheaper by the Dozen. It's very funny. It's nice. It's very good. And also... Um, the, the, the interesting thing about that scene, I think it's funny that the neighbors, they're so well played uh, by those two. And um, <laughs> I know they are. And they, they have, they criticize us in, in the movie for having 12 children. They, they, they have one perfect child. Right. Their job is to rain, raise one child That's perfect. Right. So it's a great contrast. Yeah, yeah. It's and a and uh, story point. In, the, in addition to uh, this film, I, I heard this afternoon, and I think this is a great idea. I don't know why this didn't happen uh, earlier, that you will be in a, a Pink Panther film? Yes. Like Peter Sellers? Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. When will that take place? Um, and by the way, it'll be. Uh, Directed by the same director of uh, Cheaper by the Dozen, mm-hmm. Good. and uh, it'll it won't we'll search. It won't be out for. Anything. But this is an excellent idea. I mean, I think you would be perfect as the uh, Peter Sellers. Character. I'm working on it, and I actually turned it down. I was very nervous. You know, Peter Sellers was so flawless, yes. and I thought, why am I talking about this movie? It's not. You, it's a number one already. Yeah. 
hasn't even been yeah, shot. Uh, no, has not been shot. <laughs> and, um, but I gave it some thought. I really thought about it. I tried writing some uh, ideas for it. Then I started thinking, Man, this could be, it would be different, but it will be. It certainly know, sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, thanks. I mean, uh, good. Uh, good, to, good to see you, and uh, congratulations on the. On I'm this. not leaving. Fine. Make yourself at home. We got I'm still promoting. Here. I've got a lot of things to promote. <laughs> Have a lovely holiday season. Thank you very much. Steve Martin, everybody. We'll be right back to look at some toys.